So my next movie was a little bit more appropriate, which was The Ten Commandments. And not the silent version. Um, I'm not that old. Right, Leslie? Right. <laughs> well, Yeah. And uh, so I was just hired uh, as an extra on this great big epic by Cecil B. DeMille that is shown every Easter. And uh, so my part in the extra, I was to sit in this wagon during the exodus when everybody's getting out of town, going over this rickety road. And uh, all of a sudden, I hear this big voice boom out, don't let that little girl's face get in the camera. I said, oh, no, what did I do? I said, is that God? <laughs> I, said, I am doing the Ten Commandments, and it was from way above. Well, it turned out it wasn't God. It was Cecil B. DeMille, who was sitting on a big, great big crane. In Hollywood, that was close, though. <laughs> yeah, yes, it was a cinematic deity, for sure. <laughs> yeah. So he came down and came over, we chatted, and he wrote scenes into this movie for me. It was like, he always liked to put a humanistic uh, part into this great big epic with throngs of people. So I was chosen. That was great, and I stayed on the movie for like three months, and I was uh, able to be a part when the Red Sea closed. Now this was one of the biggest things in the movie. And he prepared like two or three days for this scene because I was situated on a paper mache mountain in on the set at Paramount and there were all these donkeys and wagons that were supposed to come through and right up on the catwalk were just like all these great big barrels of water that had been set up so when he called action if all the water's going to come down, I'm going to climb up the mountain, all the horses and mules are going to go through the Red Sea. So, finally, it's all set up. And he shot with three cameras because he wanted to get the big master shot and then he wanted to get another angle of uh, what was going on. But for good luck, he put another camera way back up on the catwalk so they would get another angle. So, he says, action! and the mules go through and I go up on the paper mache mountain and water splashes down. It was perfect. It was really cut, he said. He said, camera number one, how was it for you? Mr. DeMille, I am so sorry. A camel walked in front of the lens. I, I, I lost the shot. <coughs> lost the shot? I'm sorry. Camera number two, how was it for you? Mr. DeMille, I am so sorry. Water splashed into the lens, and I didn't get the. I didn't get it. Didn't get it. Then he remembered the guy way up on the catwalk, and he said, Camera number three, how was it for you? And the cameraman said, Ready when you are, CV! <laughs> And that is a true story. <laughs> and actually, that's in my book. What year was that, Kathy? Well, I'm just going to say. Okay. <laughs> yes. Did they redo the scene? They did. They did. Unfortunately, he was not a happy director at that point. And yes. Yeah, how long did it take to reset that? Oh, oh. three days. Wow. You know, because he had to get all the water, water there. You the had to. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, they refilled the barrels, they had to get go back and get the camels, and, and then people, you know, that was one of their last days, so then they had to rehire the people, so, yeah. Wow. Yeah. He, he wasn't a happy director at that point, but it was a beautiful, you know, movie, and sometimes things happen like that on the set. Wow.